Hello, my name is Sophia and welcome back to the Mind Palace. So you've just built up this burning desire for something and you've decided that you will have it. And then your car gets a flat tire or you have three essays due in two days or maybe you get into a fight with a friend. Basically, life happens and all of the old paradigms about who you are and how you should react come flooding back. This is why discipline is so important. This is why discipline sets apart happy, successful people from unhappy, unsuccessful people. I always see the quote, discipline is the highest form of self-love. And that's so true, because discipline is your ability to give yourself a command and follow it. You know, I think about how accountable I am to others, how accountable I am to my school due dates or my work schedule. We meet all the commitments we make in other areas of our lives, but yet we don't keep the commitments that we make to ourselves. And when we make a decision to have something we've never had before, because it's something that we truly desire, the most loving thing that we can do is have the discipline to maintain that decision. You see, decisions are not just something that we make one time. Decisions are something that we make in every moment of the day. And when you make a decision to have something you've never had, you're also making decisions to think in ways you've never thought, to feel different feelings than you've ever felt, and to take different actions that you've ever taken. You know, you must have the discipline to be kind of like a third party observer over your thoughts, feelings, and actions, to continually remind yourself to ask, is this in alignment with my decision? Repetition is key to changing a paradigm. I mean, remember the fact that these subconscious programs have literally been built up throughout the entirety of your life, and they're not just gonna change overnight. We have to have the discipline to continually repeat the decision that we've made to ourselves in every moment of every day, especially when things get challenging. You know, it's really easy to think positively and to think about solutions instead of problems when things are going well. But you will inevitably be met with obstacles. You will inevitably be met with failure. And discipline is the only way to push past failure. Discipline is the ability to not recognize failure as an option. That means that if you're at a crossroads, if you, you have an obstacle in your way, you're simply not there yet. Did you know that J.K. Rowling had to manually type out each of her manuscripts to send to publishers, and then it got rejected a bunch of times? She could have given up anywhere along that journey. In fact, that would have been the easier thing to do, to accept failure as a reality. But she had the discipline and the persistence to stay committed to her decision. That book would sell. And yes, you got me, okay? I'm a Harry Potter fan. <laughs> Like anything, discipline is a state of mind, and that means that you can practice it. Start with something small, you know, something like making your bed every morning. When we are able to practice this ability of giving ourselves a command and following it in small areas of our life, it becomes that much easier to have discipline in bigger areas of your life. You know, the easier it's gonna be to be disciplined when you make a big decision, like doing something you've never done before. Once you've built up a burning desire for something and you've made the decision that you're going to do it, discipline is the insurance policy that makes sure it's actually getting done. You must have the discipline to watch your thoughts, feelings, and actions and continually ensure that they are in alignment with your decision. You know, this isn't something that's gonna be easy all the time. I'm just gonna be straight up with you. It's very difficult to change a paradigm. And it, you know, maybe you're not used to being aware of your thoughts and feelings and actions. This is probably a muscle you've never used before. And like all things, it takes practice. So just be easy on yourself. You know, discipline has nothing to do with anyone else. It's all about your relationship with yourself. So as long as you're doing your best to have discipline every single day, you are always on the pathway to success. Thank you so much for watching, and this is your reminder to enjoy every precious moment. For more videos like this one, follow at themindpalace.ca on Instagram, like at themindpalace.ca on Facebook, and subscribe to the Mind Palace channel on YouTube.